We begin tonight again in Somerset County, where a train derailed near the village of Rockwood yesterday morning. The derailment caused a fire and three crew members were injured in the incident. Our Sam Olson was on scene there last night, and today she spoke with first responders and local residents as the community begins to clean up. The derailment happened about three miles east of where I'm standing. Right now I'm on Long Pond Road and behind me you can see some of the trucks and equipment they're using to clean up the site. These are the sights and sounds of crews that have been working since yesterday afternoon to clean up the site where a train derailed Saturday morning. The train came up on a track washout, which led to a crash and fire involving the locomotives and four derailed lumber cars. And those lumber cars look like pretzels. I think the heat distorted them and they were all like really messed up. Russell Griffin lives in Jackman and he and his friend decided to take to the sky Saturday morning to see the wreckage. What he recalls a black black smoke going right up like a column. But on the ground the damage was even more shocking. Seeing it firsthand and walking around it is like Wow, there was a lot of force here. Bill Jarvis is the chief of the Jackman Moose River Fire and Rescue Department. He was part of one of the first crews on site. He says three crew members on board one of the locomotives told him they were able to escape by climbing out of a window. They could see the tracks and the washout underneath and they knew that they were going to go in and there was nothing they could do. Jarvis says remarkably they were able to make it out alive and were released from the hospital yesterday. They were extremely lucky. Somebody was watching out for them without a doubt because if they hadn't gotten out there's no way we would ever have gotten to them. Just never would have happened. A CPKC spokesperson says two cars carrying hazardous materials like ethanol derailed, but they were not involved in the fire and there were no spills or leaks. In Sandwich Academy, Grant Township, Sam Olson, New Center, Maine. And as a reminder, officials with the rail line say there were no evacuations and no threat to public safety. Crews will continue to work to clean up diesel fuel that spilled from the derailed cars.